so cold and unforgiving. Thus spoke Empress Solace as he gazed upon his barren domain. Eight hundred years it had been since the Garleans first set foot here. Bested by the Kavosi, after centuries of war and driven from fertile southern pastures into the blasted northern wastes. In that garden of desolation, they clung to one another for warmth, freezing, hungry, Desperate. Hated. The Chosen Forsaken. Jeez, all these people. In the year 1513 of the Sixth Astral Era, a young Legatus named Solus single-handedly sparked the Magitech Revolution. How did he conceive the machina that feed on Ceruleum? Because he's a fucking ancient. Once a common, soft-spoken soldier, how had he so quickly ascended through the ranks? Or he was possessed. Like so many others, those who knew the truth are gone. Taking in the capital with his eyes for the first time, I recall thinking to myself, far colder on the earth than in the heavens. Yes, far colder indeed. Bitterly so. Garlemald. It's deserted. Not so much as a whisper. The roads leading beyond the city walls would have been used less in recent years. Nevertheless, this was one of the most important gateways into the capital. A buzz day and night with activity, aye. Merchants passing through the checkpoint, many of them stopping at the local hostelries. Surely they cannot all have been tempered. We can consider the question after we have made camp. If we spend any longer outside, we may well freeze to death where we stand. The tempered Imperials, too. This will be our temporary base of operations. Secure shelter for ourselves and the injured, and dispatch scouts to survey the surrounding area. If we're planning on staying here a while, we ought to give this place a proper name. Hmm. Well, the constant sound of ice cracking underfoot makes me think of broken glass. An apt name, perhaps. But enough of this. To work, everyone. That's a really pretty ether, right?
sure thing. Can't even see it. It's so foggy right now. <laughs> Maybe a good thing. <laughs> Some things never change. Our present situation is as follows. Efforts to aid the people of Garlemald have begun in earnest. Moreover, having entered into the capital, the Imperial Palace is within our reach. But before we proceed further, we must learn what has befallen this city. For therein lies the key to understanding and combating the Talofaroi's designs. I have a suggestion, if I may. Several of the Imperial soldiers we captured on the Magna Glacias are members of the Popularis and acquaintances of mine. Once we have cured them of their tempering, they should be able to give a reliable account of the events leading to the capital's downfall. A promising idea. I will assist the healers and their ministrations. Of course, I will require a porxy of my own, assuming you can spare one. Would you like a hand? No, no, I am sure we will manage. Better that you take my place in the field. The noxious ether of this place disagrees with me, and as I shall need to draw on my own for the treatment, it will be prudent for me to remain within the camp. This talk of curing the tempered is all well and good, but I reckon the cold is a more pressing concern. All the houses round here are fitted with cerulean eaters that could keep us warm and toasty. Problem is, the machines seem to have given up the ghost, and if we keep sitting around, freezing our asses off, we'll be next. <laughs> I don't want to give up my ghost. It's my ghost. My smiths reckon that with the right parts, they can have them working again, but it won't be easy. Understood. The machinists will assist them in the repairs. The rest of us should either stand watch or survey the area. We've made our presence known to the Telophroi. They will be searching for us, if they have not already ascertained our position. That we have seen no sign of them since the battle suggests they have yet to do so. However, I suspect they may be biding their time. Or perhaps we are beneath their notice. In any event, we'll find no answers standing around here. Uriange, 
Estinian and myself have visited Garlemald recently, so we'll lead the reconnaissance efforts. Perhaps bolstered by a few Bosnian and Dalmaskian scouts from my previous excursion for good measure. Uh huh. Don't forget about us Alamegans. We have experienced scouts of our own. Well now, this is turning out to be a rather sizable team. With such numbers, we should be able to cover a wide area with relative ease, including that surrounding the Imperial Palace. How about you, Graha? I have a feeling we'll find a use or two for that vanishing spell of yours. <laughs> Twould be my honor to be of service. Though I doubt that you of all people need rely on my tricks. That leaves us with guard duty. As a matter of fact, I have something else in mind for the two of you and Alphino. Between here and the center of the capital lies the Eblen Rhyme. I would have you search the area for survivors. Your keen sense of direction, honed in your extensive travels, should prove useful in navigating the ice fields. <laughs> it's something of an understatement. Ice fields? I love ice fields! Oh, wait. No, I don't. <laughs> we'll find them. I have faith that you will, and look forward to greeting you on your safe return. You all have your duties. Let us make haste. May the Fury bless and keep you. You as well. That's right, uh, Iskar wasn't always snowy. We've talked about that before. I went Bahamut. There's Alberic. Oh, we're gonna have to talk to one of these people. in the snow what ho chums <laughs> you being useful <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, they got look at the clothes for their chocobo. I'm jealous. Very smart. Obvious milk. Pokebuki! Oh! 
did you know? So many friends that we made along the way. Seltzer. Working up a sweat from smashing boulders with her feet like an axe works wonders. <laughs> These dorks. Steven! Fog's gone. Oh my god. What do you spy with your magic eye? <laughs> Damn it. Massive sheep thing. Or maybe it's a cow. <laughs> I already got one. Snow, snow, snow. Below. What is on the hillock? I'd know a girl anywhere I'd seen one. Bonk. Does she have a telescope like yours? Oh my god, Amandaline, please. <laughs> Girl's running away from him. He probably has a bunch in his pockets. <laughs> Why is the store empty? We had a million of these alchemical tinctures. God, I don't like that thing. The same as you saw us previously, they towards the building. Oh.
Getting closer, I'm sure of it. had the ice thing just sitting there. There she is. You okay? We gotta be sneaky. I'll run right to her. Hey! <laughs> hmm. Girl in green. I guess I gotta... Yep, 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 yep. Don't mind me. <laughs> okay, that's her cone of vision. What the hell are those things? Overgrown rose? Gross. You sure it's not these giant creepy plant monsters? Wait, I mean keep going. Jesus. It's like how how could it not see you? What up? What up? <laughs> Please stop. Oh, hey, how's it going? Wait, come back! Oh shit! <laughs> thanks, thanks for narrating out loud. How's it going? Oh, we're gonna scare the shit out of her. <laughs> She's cute.
One, no it's not. Two, that wouldn't kill me. Cynia. at the tower. No, this is the bomb house, where we keep the bombs. <laughs> knew it! I had to do it! Good sweater. What the hell's a gazebo? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just like... How the mighty are fallen. Oh, they're gonna give me pants finally.
there. Do they have a radio? Shit, they do! Gifts from the notoriously unreliable Amanolite. It is highly doubtful this concoction will have the intended effect. If only they were willing and more importantly unwitting volunteers on whom to test it. Oh, Jesus. Uh, this better not mess them up. Well, yes, never better. Um, you're doing a good job putting on a happy face, dude. It's okay. Aww. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up all around. First came the war, then came the roar. When morning came, Garlemald was no more. This is bleak. It's a radio. They just straight up have radios. <laughs> Locus Amogus. That was, uh, that was Graha's home. I already forgot what it was called before. to get through another day, buddy. I'm not gonna break the illusion.
Nope. Are we being had? Are we being extremely had? Giving up all of our... I don't like this at all. Was this whole thing a trap? She sure is off asking very specific questions. trust you anymore. And sending me on what very well could be a wild goose chase seems like a terrible idea for me to go <laughs> and leave Alize and Alphano here alone. I don't like this. Let me in! I know I heard someone! Oh, I'll see ya. Burly for you. Pure bloods. I wasn't you. Well, motherfucker. Oh my god. Oh, I'm obliterated, baby. Jesus. Am I dead yet? I probably wish you were, dummy. There you are. Alize! No, 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 no! Don't leave Alphano alone! What are we doing? Why are we so dumb? <sighs> and we're not even gonna go back. Why? Uh, they're dead, I'm sorry. Bania, Yonsha, Bazia, Damaska.
trade secrets. We have a big straw. they make it out, Goofus? I mean, you should still try, but... <laughs> Sorry. Big horse, get your big horse out of the way and cover an Alze with its ass. Thank you. At the end of the trail. Maybe her sister's tempered, but it didn't sound like it. Weird, weird, weird. Something's fucking. I don't like it. Oh, you know. Tapas then. Let's go. Why is this so weird? Where the fuck are they? Whoa. This is certainly not helping my feelings of anxiety. Yeah, the music's really good. <gasps> Alphano! Did they try and attack him? I fucking knew it, fuckers. He has four guns on his back. And you're all dying. We gave you help.
literally what you're doing to my friend. Fuck you, buddy. Yeah, I figured that out, but why? I guess just because she didn't trust us? I'm imagining just pouring, pouring a liquid medicine into your pocket. Actually, wait. <sighs> You're dumb. You're dumb as fuck. Let's find him. My gosh, why is this area so fucking big? The empty bottle fell smelly of alcohol. It's been here for some time, unlikely to have any connection. Damn. Fresh blood. Oh no. The blood standing in the snow appears to be fresh, judging by the amount of the victim may have been severely wounded. The trail of blood leads southeastwards. Well, that's not great. Oh no. You idiot. No. didn't have to happen. <laughs> Let's 
too late, I'll say. Half an hour. The tower, Jesus. Blood trail. We found one. They were attacked. to brave the wilds than trust in our magic. We should have... I should have... There's nothing you could have done. We can't leave them like this. We have to take them home. What if we're only making it worse? They'll think we killed them. Maybe we don't belong here, but neither do they. Not out here in the wind and the cold. I heard the story about Varus's voice from beyond the grave. Of course, I didn't believe it, but Lacinia and her sister did. Perhaps there is something to the tale after all. Oh, maybe. Uh, it sounded like she was tempered then, but broke out of it. Maybe with the radio or something to do with it. I want to understand. So I'm going to borrow this for a while, if that's all right. You had every reason not to trust us. We came as trespassers, invaders. But I pray that in time, we will be more than that to you. That we will find a way to help your loved ones. And see that no more children are left to freeze alone in the snow. <laughs> 